to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. In this video, I'm playing Splinterlands, which I've been doing uh, fairly regularly, I guess, over the last kind of three or four months. Um, and uh, as you can see on the screen here, it says I am eligible for a, an airdrop. So um, I've been buying packs. And one of the things you can do in the game is buy these uh, packs of cards. Um, so this is the, currently the set is called the Untamed um, set so there are um, these packs they cost 2,000 uh, credits each um, and uh, quite a lot of packs um, remaining because this one only just kind of really started really um, but it has a this is 70 unique cards and 1.5 million packs so I guess we're just over halfway through um, the total number of packs and obviously when those um, are finished there'll be another set of uh, cards that will go live um, so uh, but every time you buy a pack of cards, you're eligible for an airdrop. I've no idea what this is going to be, actually. <laughs> could be could be a bit uh, um, embarrassing, I suppose. I don't know. Um, so, but yeah, anyway, I've bought 11 packs of cards, I guess. So that's kind of interesting. So um, it's about two, so it's two dollars. So it's twenty-two dollars of of um, of packs that I've bought. Um, so you know, last of the big spenders. Um, but let's see what I get um, uh, for that activity. So. Um, Claim my airdrop. Um, so the notes of receiving a legendary airdrop card are on average one in 425 packs. Uh, seems unlikely then. Only one out of 50 of those on average will be gold foil. The amount of cards received is determined at random by unpredictable data from the blockchain. We do not control the outcome. So obviously Splinterlands running on the Hive blockchain. So the random element they can take from there. So um, it looks like I have uh, saying so I have six eligible packs um, for... Uh, this particular card so let's see what happens with that oh <laughs> Well, not a great surprise, is it? Um, so obviously, uh, the uh, <laughs> this is to encourage you to buy more than more than eleven <laughs> packs of cards. Didn't get any cards in this airdrop. Um, your packs will still be eligible. Oh, I see. Your packs will be eligible to participate in, air, in all the future uh, untamed airdrops. Um, okay, so that's kind of um, encouraging me to to keep buying, <laughs> buy another whatever it was, four hundred and thirteen <laughs> packs to have a. Uh, um, a, 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 a prob probabilistic 100% chance um, and obviously it's a nice thing that uh, Splint Splintlands does all the time is um, if I want to I can uh, click on the blockchain uh, to uh, verify the results so you can go through and regenerate it all out so um, I didn't get any I didn't get any of the cards didn't get any of the gold cards either um, so there we go um, that proves they weren't cheating, I suppose. So this is interesting. Looks like here I'm eligible for an airdrop. Um, so a different card now. Um, we're on uh, the, the uh, seventh <laughs> untamed airdrop. I've got nine packs eligible for that. Um, again, one in 425 packs. Um, let's see if there's any change. Not a surprise. So, um, didn't win anything there equally, but I still have 11 packs eligible for the next airdrop. So I guess this is kind of an interesting, this is the mechanic now, it's a retention kind of mechanic. Um, uh, but we can see here that there will be 61,083 packs uh, have to be sold of this current um, 761,000. Um, yeah, so we got to get to we basically got to s get to um, seven, 700,000 packs remaining before we get the next um, airdrop possibility. Um, so uh, I can just learn more from here. So there are a total of 14 special airdrop characters unlocked throughout this untamed sales event. So that's the entire pack of untamed um, cards. Uh, only until a character is unlocked can it be obtained for every a thousand. Okay, every th hundred thousand packs sold, another character is unlocked. Um, when a character is unlocked, all the players who have previously purchased a pack or receive a random distribution of the new character. Buying more packs will increase your chances of obtaining cards. Okay. Um, 
buying more as early as possible. So this is a kind of a, a kind of a um, kind of monetization mechanic as well. I, I, I guess at least if you are buying a lot of um, if you think you're going to buy a lot of these, so really four hundred and so let's say it was two dollars. So you really you have to be spending about a thousand dollars to get one of those cards. Um, of course, could go and see if any of those cards are available to buy. That would be okay, so here we are looking at the uh, in-game marketplace, and actually we can see. Um, I think these ones up here are actually all looking like um, these are the drop cards. So we can see here the um, the uh, deep swimmer card and this one, Chansos the Great. So they're actually available. Um, so people who have got basically got these cards are now selling them. So we can see this one is um the cheapest price of this is seven dollars 35 cents so the different pricing here is is if they've been leveled up um so if they've been leveled up um to level three obviously it's um worth more because to level this one up you have to have a whole bunch so so th this this leveled up version has eight um has been leveled up with consuming eight of these other cards so obviously it kind of works as a multiplier um and uh, yeah, this is kind of shows what they, what how they work in the game, um, and similarly here. Um, so these are the legendary card, and this these are going for five dollars. Obviously, it's different. Uh, most expensive ones. Someone's optimistically trying to um, sell this for thirty dollars, twenty nine fifty, uh, but it's not leveled up. So obviously, I don't think anyone's going to buy that because everyone's going to buy, you know, at the cheapest price. Uh, let's have a quick look. I guess some of these as well. Then, um, yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. So if you if you're very disappointed by the fact that you didn't buy didn't didn't win it by only buying eleven packs, <laughs> you could just go and buy buy one of these um, cards for um, so roughly it looks like they're going for about five dollars. Um, Per card, and we can see here how many are available. So there's about uh, 800, 850, 900 um, available in the marketplace. Um, cool. Okay. Well, that, that's that's uh, uh, I understand a bit more about the game. <laughs> um, but I think yeah, you know, the nice thing about these blockchain games is is it does give you basically you get that you get that airdrop for free. Um, you just if you buy cards, you get an airdrop. Um, and if you get really into the cards uh, that you didn't win, you can just come to the marketplace and you'll find someone willing to um, to sell them uh, for you, you know, sell them to you. So, and just out of interest, while we're here, I can show you um, these are the cards that I own in the game. So, not particularly uh, valuable. The most valuable ones I have are these legendary ones, um, which I uh, which were in card packs that I bought. Um, and this one here, um, yeah, the most, so he's worth two dollars. I think this one's oh yeah, so he's so, so yeah, this one's worth one dollar. So I don't have any particularly valuable cards <laughs> um, yet. Yes, maybe maybe I will now be tempted <laughs> to splash out a bit more. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. This is Blockchain Gaming World, where um, I spend my time trying to work out uh, how blockchain games work um, and sometimes succeeding. So if you're into blockchain games, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.